What's up, guys? Once again, it is a beautiful day, a beautiful morning. I'm now visiting Yangin Hill, which is located at the east of Mandalay, about uh, five miles away from downtown. The hill itself is about 600 feet above the ground and 800 feet above the sea level, which is high enough to see Mandalay Valley from the bird's eye view. Uh, but I come here not only for the landscape or not only for the panoramic view, but also for the historic site. The hill itself is the historic place. So that's why we're going to explore some historic area. So this Yangin Hill is one of two famous hills in Mandalay. One is, as you know, uh, Mandalay Hill. And Mandalay Hill has been uh, the tourist spot. This one is not. That's why I'm visit here. So today I'm going to explore some viewing spot, angles, and also uh, some historic uh, place. Let's explore together with me. Let's go. top of the hill and the tallest one we can see this pagoda f anywhere from Mandalay because it is uh, very tall and also shiny in the sunlight as you can see the upper part is gold painted and the lower part is whitewashed the main stupa is surrounded by mini stupas I suppose there are totally 24 mini stupas because they represent 24 modes of conditional relations in Buddha's teaching. It is known as Bhattan. Around the stupa, there are many rest houses like this. I still remember when I was a kid, so I came here. The rest houses are not nice like this. They were made out of wood but these new rest houses are made out of stainless steel. So from the rest houses, we can see the panoramic view of Mandalay. This is the east of Mandalay. There you can see between the hill and the Shan Plateau, there you can see the valley. On the valley, I suppose the people grow paddies, rice. Now is harvesting time. It's so beautiful, isn't it? This is a beautiful monastery, I mean cloister, the humble cloister, but it's a beautiful one. Probably only one monk live here. When I came up here along the way, I saw many monks and nuns and also their living apartments. So that's why this hill is regarded as a holy place or the place for the monks and nuns and pagodas. That's why this is a religious place. Now we go to the historic place. the most popular place on the hill now I'm going into the gorge so in a gorge there is a historic place there you can see uh, fish shape statues yes that is fish we call it Ngayan Min or this cave is called Ngayan Min cave Ngayan literally means snake headed fish so it is a kind of tropical fish so now I'm Going down from the stairway to go to the gorge. So what is inside? I'm so curious. Oh, it's quite deep. Wow. Beautiful. 
The legend has it that the fish statue represents one of the previous life of Buddha's embryo. <coughs> Here we can see the Ngayame statue. So according to our belief, people usually come here and they offer water, donate water like this. And the local people of Mandalay traditionally believe this fish statue can help to bring the rainfall if it is no rain even in the rainy season or in the really hot summer. But monks need to recite the Ngaramin Breda Buddha teaching and do some rituals to bring the rainfall. This is the statue of Buddha. And here are the statue of two men. They are the shamans. They practiced occultism. The one on the left is Bo Ming Gang, and the one on the right is Bo Bu Ang. We believe they practiced and they succeeded their archaic practice, and they have prolonged their life until the enlightenment of next Buddha. And we also believe they can help us with worldly uh, affairs. That's why we also pay respect to them. This is panoramic view of Mandalay. Now I am looking to the west from the top of Yangin Hill. There we can see in the distance uh, the Mandalay Hill. The height is as the same as uh, the Yangin Hill. I suppose uh, Mandalay Hill is about 100 feet higher than Yangin Hill. I've been hiking for about uh, 10 minutes to go to another historical place. Nobody here. I'm alone here. It's very good. Uh, they say so this another one is the original pagoda on the top of the hill. Uh, I mean original me the pagoda was built since the time of uh, Bagan, built by Mission So, who was the son of King Alang Situ. Alright, let's go and see. A peaceful and tranquil stairway. This is the stairway to big shiny pagoda, I think you still remember, the big stupa. I can also come here from the big stupa along this stairway, but I didn't use this way because I didn't want to leave my scooter. That's why I use another way. Hinda Min Paya, Hinda Min Pagoda. In Southeast Asia, we regard Reddy Shell Duck as Hinda. And we regard Hinda as the holy bird. I've never been here before. So we explore together. Oh, here, a beautiful stupa. I prefer this one to big shiny one. Very tranquil and peaceful. It's surrounded by the trees. It is a good place for meditation. Here is the lion statue, one of the essential features of typical Burmese stupa. Wow, look at the beautiful champas tree. Ah, it's not champas, it's frangipani. The flower is so fragrant here. It is also edible flower. We eat this flower by making it salad. The natural taste is bitter. But when we combine with other ingredients, it's so tasty. Look at the old and peaceful stairway. Wow. I wish I could climb up this hill from this stairway. I bet I don't know. Where is this leading to? Oh, it doesn't look friendly.
another pagoda, Georgia Minpaya, Georgia Crane, Crane Pagoda. Wow, inside there is a monk who is telling the rosary. Hi guys, this is all for today's trip. Today we explore Yagen Hill and some hidden places on the hill. I hope you enjoy the tour with me. And if you like my video, and if you would like to see some more video, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell for the future video. And if you would like to share my video, you can do it. Thank you very much. See you soon.